Hi there. Now here we have a question based around graphs. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can compare your work solution to mine. I'll take you slowly through it. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So in figure one then we're given this curve y equals 1 over x plus 1 x not equaling 0 and we're told that this curve c crosses the x-axis at this point a and we've got to state the x-coordinate at point a. Well when any curve crosses the x-axis its y-coordinate will be 0. So if y is equal to 0 1 over x must equal minus 1. And that means that x must be equal to minus 1. So state the x-coordinate at the point A, the answer is minus 1. I'll just put it in here, okay, as the x-coordinate is minus 1. The y-coordinate would in fact be 0, not that we have to do that. Okay, so there's our answer then, minus 1. Now for the next part, we're told that the curve D has equation y equals x squared times x minus 2 for all real values of x. And we've got to sketch on top of this graph here the curve D. So what's it going to look like? Well, I notice that when I expand this out, I'm going to get a positive x cubed graph. And positive x cubed graphs always look something like this shape. OK, so where does it cross the y-axis? Well, that's when x is 0. And when x is 0, I can see that y would be 0. It would have 0 times minus 2. So that's 0. So it goes through the origin here. And it's going to have this shape. And I also notice that because x is squared here, that's what we call a repeated root. And when that happens, the curve touches the x-axis. So I can expect this shape then with the curve coming up something like this, touching the x-axis at the origin, dropping back down and then going back up something like that. So this would be the curve D. And we're asked to show on the sketch the coordinates of each point where the curve D crosses the coordinate axis. Well it certainly crosses at the origin here and this point here will be when y equals 0 and it will be at x equals 2. So that point there will have coordinates 2, 0. And for the last part here, using your sketch, state giving a reason the number of real solutions to this equation. Well, notice how both the curves, the y values, are equal to one another. So this has got to be at the point of intersection of the curve D with the curve C. And you can see there's only two points of intersection, one here and one here. So the number of real solutions must be two. So just to summarize then, what we've got is that there's two solutions since there are two points of intersection. Okay?